Okay, I was talking to myself. The, I guess that's the bad thing about plugging in and plugging the camera. It goes... A lot of times when you unplug... Uh, well, I unplugged it and it did fine, but then when I plugged it in, it shut... The camera app shut down. It didn't reboot the phone like the other day on the other phone, but... So I was going on about what I'm going to do, but I'm going to go ahead and start taking... I'll just go ahead and start taking it apart. Um, <clears throat> there, there's... If you saw those four bolts, I will say that on the back, that is where I mounted a wheel to help keep the drum from going too far back and the bear the bushing for the drum was wore out years ago didn't know how to replace it years went by finally and it worked okay with that wheel then it got bad even worse and then people came online started you know showing you how to do this stuff with videos and stuff I couldn't figure out how to get that drum out and uh, and I bought a kit and replaced it <clears throat> and uh, it's been years now. Another, you know, I mean, 15 years ago when this all, you know, first started having trouble with it. This is this is a, a white Westinghouse made in 1993. <laughs> so, and you can still get parts for these things. And you know, I imagine if you fix it, it'll just keep on going. We've had to replace a few other things over the years. But anyway, um, you get started, and I thought I would just show it uh, as I do it. You know. Okay, I gotta grab some tools and I won't try to carry the camera with me because I'll unplug it to move it and it'll go off. Here we go. Should be, oh yes, I'm gonna open the lid so that's a good place to set the tools, isn't it? Okay. They're getting a little old, but they're emergency jugs. Wouldn't drink them, but you can wash with them and stuff. Go ahead and get it unplugged for safety, because I will be getting near the electrical parts. Plus, I need to move it out some anyway. Vent. We have a vent going out the roof. Oh, dang it. 
Good thing I had a glove on, but it just didn't completely protect me. It still got gouged. Dang it. Anyway, if you if you take, you can still operate it. See, oh, I have to plug it back in. Maybe. Well, I don't think I want to right now. You can still operate it as long as you don't take the whole. See all the. I don't know if you can see all the wires over here, but the whole wiring harness is right there, and I don't want to take that loose unless I have to. Let's see. A little higher there. That's the main part of them. There we go. Yeah, right up there in the top right corner. Yeah, it's way down at the bottom. I was thinking it down at the bottom of just just to just to this side of the uh, the uh, exhaust heat outlet, and uh, it's uh, down at the very bottom. I was thinking it was up high enough that I could reach it from the top. But I see see now it's not where I remember, thought I remembered. Anyway, I, I probably got down on the ground and open. There's an access about about a foot by foot access panel down there to get to the belt and the motor. I probably did it through there, which I do kind of remember. It was a real pain in the butt to get it on there. So it, I saw. I went back and before I started, I went back and watched videos on, you know, taking the drum out and all that. It's going to be easier to take the drum out, even though it's. I mean, kind of taking it all apart. But. Some of the stuff that I've been doing again. Put this somewhere. Uh, I, don't want, I put the tra oh, the trash cans usually go right where we're let the cameras stand in. I put them outside. Okay, let's see. This, there's a plastic thing here that they call it a drum support, but it looks to me like it looked like on that video that it was uh, supporting the front end of the drum. It's just plastic. But the way it's either I, either I, somebody I or somebody I'm not the only one that's worked on it. Probably me though that would have done that. Put it in there wrong. That would have been working on this part. Uh, no. It's been a part, drum and all, by more than just me. Um, so anyway, the last person who did it, looks like that might be in there upside down, but the drum is shoved real far to the back. It's almost, it's basically off the, uh, what it rides on. I can pick up the whole, I can pick it up plugged in and show it. Show it. There we go, yeah. Just talking about that and not showing it won't make any sense. Okay, so this plastic thing and the video that I saw, this was a way newer one than the video though. I didn't see a video of this old old one like this. It was up under the lip, and I think it should be flipped. I don't think that should be sticking up because it's not that high. I think maybe it should be flipped the other way. But I don't guess you can see it's dark in there. And I don't have a flashlight with me. But um uh, The um, there's a flashlight in the phone. But if I can 
if I minimize the, the uh, camera app, I don't know if it'll quit or if it'll keep recording. Yeah, there's no point in doing that. Okay, because it might quit. Anyway, down in there, it's just... You can see what the, all the plasticky things that it... Yeah, they're little plastic things, like bushing type things that it's supposed to ride on, but it's almost completely off of them. Makes me worry that the bushing's worn out again, or broken, or something. It's letting it shove too far back. Let's go over here and look. Let's see. I have a feeling that the way that plastic thing is, I did it. I put it in there that way. Yeah, I got maybe it never was riding far enough forward, but it was been work. Maybe my wheel is the only reason it really ever kept working. With even though we put the new bushings in it, I'm starting to think because let's get this back kind of the way I had it. There we go. That'll be all right. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the drum out. I don't remember if there's screws. Well, this wasn't just like I said. It isn't just like the one on the video. But. Uh, There's a couple of screws down in there that you can, that you can reach down and get. If I want to use the nut driver or ratchet inside of the ratchet screw, I'm going to get to it. Down. I think I even guessed right on the. Everything is sharp in this thing. Every edge, every bracket, it cuts you so it's hard to wear gloves and do it on this one. matter you know the, it's just going to be interrupting it's probably on the ground or it looks like it's ground because it's black wires which one goes where but I'm gonna mark them anyway It's going to give me some mask and take them right, left, you know, on one of them. And on the top. Or high, it's not really the top. That's, uh, does that make sense? We'll see. If it makes sense later when I'm putting them back together, then I'd be good. Any kind of tape. I tried to leave on there. 
don't want to waste the electrical tape. Well, of course, you can't write good on electrical tape anyway, but uh, I think there's only the two screws keeping the front on. These things are, are good about being fairly simple. Watcher and the right. Watcher over there is a nice thing, and it's, it's older than this. Still not sure if I have the exact. I was gonna say this is American made and it's got American nuts and bolts, but can't work with those gloves, you're gonna drop everything you touch. So. So yes, it is American, but I'm using a, I was using a deep well socket just because it worked. You don't have to use an extension or anything with a ratchet. At least it works good. But I guess I need to get the same size in the short. Push that door over a little bit to straighten that out, but I don't have much luck of that either. There, just give it a little pressure on it, let me be able to turn it with my fingers. Okay. Now, I think I'll, since these gloves are doing me, I can't, I'm warm because they were thinner, I'll get some thicker ones. Since I can't turn screws with gloves, I may as well have. If I'm gonna, when I go to pulling on that sharp stuff, I want some thicker gloves. Let's see. Make sure we're recording. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, and the drum drops down in the front. See, it was just being barely being held by the. Uh, that's dirty. Guess I better get the vacuum out. Let's see. Those are almost one completely through, and those were replaced uh, after, sometime after. Uh, you can see them. Let me hold it up a little closer, maybe. But, uh, maybe if I remember towards the. I guess, Oh, I can pick this whole thing up again. That definitely is part of the problem, big part of it. But why it's shoving back, I don't know. But look how worn that one is. This one's even worse. Now these were replaced, that whole seal and those, uh, I'm gonna call them bushings, they're plastic. Ooh, coming off of there. But it may be, actually, they may be prematurely worn because this thing was not, I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be up under that lip to help. And I thought, well, how is that thing going to hold the weight of that drum, this thing here? I, th I decided it was just to keep it from going too far forward. And actually, on this dryer anyway, that's all it really can do. Because, uh, well, it's not strong enough to hold the weight of the drum. I mean, it's just a little plastic with one little screw in it. So, uh, yeah, I think I figured right. Now, as far as whether or not this should be turned... Oh, I don't think it'd mount the other way. When I try to put it back in, I'll see if it would flip. I think I decided it was more good to be going up than down. But Yeah, there's three of those on there. It's, yeah, three on the top. So, they've been getting rubbed so much that they're gone. That's not good. Um... Where's my 
Well, I'm just trying to aim it. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna move this thing out of the way for now. No way that would hold the drum up, so I don't think this one is exactly like the one I saw in the video. I may have found a video for this particular model, but I couldn't find it. <coughs> These are all the same. Well, let's see if it looks like it would have gone in the middle. Yeah, it wouldn't. It only goes in one way. There's a uh, notch, so you can't get it wrong. There's a notch right there, and it has it has to be so it has to go up. If you try to flip it, there's no notch. It won't even go on there. Now I'll go ahead and get the drum out. And oh, first I have to I do have to open that back panel. And uh, take the uh, take the belt off the motor. <laughs> There's a bee buzzing around my camera. Okay, don't bother me. I know my hair smells good and all that, but get up, stay out of my hair. They always have to get to the hair. Okay. Uh, get my uh, ratchet. showing this but there's lots of videos on how to how to get the uh, belts on and off the dryer that's one thing that's easy to do and it's all per they're all pretty darn similar so. because <sighs> it would really just slow down my work so. but if I try to unplug that thing to bring it around and I can't really I couldn't get it down there on the on that big old Tripod, uh, it's not a tripod, it's a mic stand, but I couldn't get it, I couldn't get it to where it would show it. with a plastic bag on top of it keep dust from getting in it um, where my tools are you can't see that anyway it keeps blowing up uh, I could spin the whole thing around sound like it would be hard to do I'm just trying to think what would be easiest actually if I spun it around I might be able to get to it without laying down on the floor. There's a step down there. 
I really need a light. I need to get my get my drop light. I guess it's best thing I've really got. Plug it in up here. It's not quite long enough. I'm not quite sure where to put everything, so I won't trip on it. Okay, let's see. Not even down low enough. What I was thinking I was going to do was get down here. And okay. Uh, what do with my gloves? So down there is where it is. And uh, I can show where it is. Just a minute here, I guess. Just guessing on aiming the camera. I could kind of see the corner of the screen to see that I was in the general right area. Anyway, I got to, you just use, if you can see the belt, you know, it's a tensioner uh, that you move and get the uh, belt off. You usually can do it right in. Oh. Yeah, need the screwdriver okay so uh, let's go ahead and turn it back around before I can get the drum out what happened was when I, uh, I opened that lid all the way I think it pulled the plumb out of there I wasn't thinking about any of that okay now you use the belt to lift the drum it's the easy way to do it and you couldn't have got it out with the belt all tensioned on it anyway so. think that I was gonna say I need to inspect the belt but I think I got way bigger problems in the belt can't I know you can't see it it's all there but I have to get it in the line yeah, it's 
I think they actually called it a hitch ball. I just realized I can get this camera off of here without unplugging it. I'll just get it off this mount I have it on. And uh, yeah, I have the cable strapped to the mic stand that I'm using as a tripod. But I can't, I, all I have to do is real simple to get it off, and I wasn't thinking about that. So if I leave it plugged in, hopefully I won't lose my video except for it just yanks everything everywhere when I try to move around but I do have a 10 foot cord so all right this light is gonna I think it's gonna help me see yes it's completely it's more wore out than the old one that we replaced it's completely gone shoot well I've got the whole bottoms fell out of it. Get that, let me get me a screwdriver so I can kind of dig around on it. Okay, now. Yeah. It was, uh, from, well, I don't see that it was scraping on the, on the exhaust pipe. I don't see any evidence of that. Where, where is it? Yeah, right there. That's where it would have been rubbing, the bottom of the tub. It was just making all kinds of noise because it was... See where it was rubbing through the... There's, that's... Okay, this was a plastic... It's like a horseshoe. It was all plastic. It was full of grease. That's just part of the bracket to hold... To hold things... Hold it together, I guess you'd say. How's that heating going to work? Looks okay. Alright. Uh, yeah, now there's that tensioner set up. That's the tensioner. And below it is the uh, pulley. And there's the motor. We had to press the motor on the washer. I was just going to say that motor's still working after all these years. Back in uh, December, we had to replace the motor on the washer finally. And it was made in the 80s. And they see here's some electronic sensors. That's actually the heating element connections. Make sure none of those are broken. And it's unplugged. That's the heat sensor. Tells it when to turn on and off, I think. And there's another one somewhere, I thought. It's tell it oh, over over temperature right there. I bought one. I think it's the, the one that goes there. And then I decided it wasn't didn't need it, so I didn't bother doing all this to put it in. I was thinking I, it was up in some other you know like I find similar models and maybe it's up here, like close to where these wires connect up in the front. And uh, you could have done it without taking it apart. But yeah, see, you don't want to take all those harnesses apart and unplug everything if you don't have to. And you don't have to to do this. So this is not good. I'm trying to think. It's not what I expected. I thought, where's my little wheel? It didn't even show up. There's my little wheel. There's nothing wrong with my little wheel. That's lithium grease I sprayed on it. I used to spray through the holes in the back because once in a while it would start squeaking. It's not worn out. I mean, it's been fantastic, but that lithium grease turned out to be the worst crap. It was supposedly so great. Uh, it gets gooey and gummy and makes anything that, like I was sort of spraying it in computer fans thinking it'd be good. It made them not be able to turn when it got old. Now this thing got a lot of force when, see what, that drum, it was actually the very, I'll show you, the very lip, this back lip. Right here, the ride right on that wheel. Well, that just seemed to be the best way. That way, couldn't. If it's a rubber wheel, it probably wouldn't move through that, but that would just seem to me the best place. Now, this is what they called in that video I was watching the hitch ball. It's exactly what it looks like. 
That looks okay. Now it's been rubbing the back. There's supposed to be a, a ball bearing. You can see that it's shiny. It's been, it's not that old. Look how rusty the rest is and dirty. Uh, I may have saved the old one. It was, the ball was all tore up on the old one. Uh, and the uh, horseshoe mount was, what's that? see a, I don't see a uh, anything that looks like it could have ever had a uh, uh, a uh, let's get our I know this is I like to do tripod and not you know handheld because you really make everybody dizzy it makes me dizzy to look at my own videos it's just impossible for me to move around yeah I can't no way I can do that. Two hands. Let's get this back on the back on the stand, and then if I can move the stand over there, that'll be all right. Okay. Put the wire. I have to have strain relief on that power cable, or it'll get yanked out for sure. Okay. Forgot I didn't have gloves on. I don't want to get my hands dirty. I was just trying to do an easy job, not a dirty job. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Um, I will have to go over there and look. There's a box with parts. I have to see if I actually have any, any usable parts. dryer gets used every day and if I can keep it going until because I have to order the parts um, I mean there might be a place to go buy them but <laughs> you know, anything, well no I do have something I, my, my truck has got the carburetor off waiting for me to finish rebuilding it so but I couldn't drive my mom's car I suppose but uh, I don't believe I'd ever I'd rather wait a couple of days, two or three days to get the parts if I can keep it going. If my, <laughs> my, I can, normally I wash once a week to once, once in one, one and a half weeks, so I could wait, but everybody else couldn't, so. But actually I'm getting, I've got about three or four more days and I have to wash myself. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, I want to get that out of there first and then go from there so I'm gonna my tripod legs broke last night and so now I can't uh, I have to lean it up against something or it's just gonna fall over so I think that might do it yeah that'll do it and I might work and see what I'm doing Yeah, I think that's good enough. I can see what I'm doing. And the camera looks like it can see what I'm doing. Okay. Well, that's the oh, that's the quarter inch anyway. Tight they'll be. I might have to get the ratchet pull we'll see. Oh that's not not five sixteenths. <coughs> what if they made those heads of metric size since this is newer stuff? I think maybe they did because that's the next one down. Oh, they're so loose that I didn't know if I had the right size.
Okay. It was about to fall out of there. So all that vibration and everything had made it. There's parts of it just fell off in my hand. Look how messed up that is. Yeah, that uh, plastic completely. See the plastic. If I can get in there. The plastic was. I guess this was kind of a support for it. But the plastic was. You see how thick those sides are. That's how thick the bottom was. I just. I don't remember that anymore, but in the video, and uh, there was a ball bearing that was supposed to be, oh, it went on that side. Yeah, it's still there. I don't know what good that's supposed to be. Oop, there it went. There's a little metal plate that these, these screws were screwed into, and I just knocked it off from the floor. If I would have touched that ball bearing, I could have just grabbed it, pulled it off of there. And the ball bearing wouldn't went rolling. Not that I need it now, and everything's ruined. But um, uh, well, the ball bearing was so sticky with grease on it that it stayed. And here's the uh, here they are. That's the bracket, ball bearing, and the, the, the trick you use, I saw that in the video, is put some grease on the uh, ball bearing and then it'll stay, I think they put it on the back side of the, the uh, bushing, the plastic bushing. Okay, now I had, like I said, I had rigged it up to where it kept working. And maybe I saved that part. I always like to save old parts in case I have an emergency, like this. <laughs> so. We'll see. Uh, dang it. Well, I thought it sure was making an awful lot of noise. I just couldn't imagine some of the noises I was hearing last night when it started screeching. I thought... That's kind of more what happens when that wore out, you know, the last time. Similar sound to what we heard. That. Now, it hasn't been getting hit. What it did was keep it from going too far that way. Uh, because the old one was worn out in such a way that uh, it was going back and grinding into the back. It grinded a big old hole in the pitch ball thing. I, remember that I, well I saw pictures that's how come I know I, I had some pictures last time I didn't make a video I just took some pictures I didn't have any I didn't have these phones in my I didn't really have anything to make videos with okay let's go I guess no I can't carry the camera that far well I can turn it that direction I guess let me get to aim it that way. I guess it doesn't matter if I... This is where I gotta go, up in there. Which way? I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. It's behind those... Back there. You won't really see it, but that's what I'm doing. <coughs>
just turn it, I guess, back this way because then I can, I can look. It actually makes it where I can look. I can see the screen of the camera and see what it is I'm showing. I have a feeling those brackets that are not in there because it's so light. There's the electrical part I was talking about. It's a, well, anyway, it's a heat sensor. There's, oh, it's washer and dryer parts. Okay, I remember that now. Something from the washer. Okay, let's get this box out of the way. The sack, I don't know what kind of parts are in there. I think it's washers. Ah, now that's some of that grease, I bet you, that came with it. Because that. Oh, yeah, that's part of what's left in the kit from replacing that. That, but. Uh, Maytag, yeah, that. This is going to be, I think, let's see what, yeah. I never did completely get that fixed. That's a brand new. Uh, it's part of the. Uh, it made the. Uh, Automatic bleach dispenser work, but I never. There was other things wrong. I never made it work. Yeah, the old, old automatic bleach dispenser thing is in there. Let's see. There's some. Uh, Electrolux, and then this is glue. Yeah, it really doesn't need to be in there, does it? Oh, that's lubricant. Okay, so this is lubricant, high temp, adhesive. Oh, this is glue. This is glue. This is the grease that, that they give you to put on that. So I do have the grease, but. Oh. Not turning out. Let me go back over here and look at all my kind of see if I may, maybe missed it. A box or something up in that general area there. Let's see. Finger it still hurts where I hurt it. Yeah, well, when I finally started getting into stuff that was dirty, I had my gloves off the whole time. <sighs> well, of course, I really wore them to protect my fingers. Sometimes, if you <laughs> if you have uh, the right kinds of parts, you can just you know alter something somehow. And I have I've got pieces of everything in this garage, but you know finding it all now has got to be about impossible. I think. I was thinking, you know, I mean, there's amazing car. I've got all kinds of scraps of red oak and white oak hardwood. Um, white oak's even harder. And I've been watching all these videos where people make tools and parts and everything. You would never, I never would have thought of before out of them. Uh, that that white oak hardwood would, if I made a a U-shaped thing that I could screw on there, it would last a probably last a lot longer than that plastic. Of course, when it got hot, it would smoke, it would stink. And it's got too hot to catch on fire. But of course, I'd put a lot of grease in there and everything. But I'm thinking, see, is it worth trying to do that? Let me get that piece of plastic and see. I said I'm getting that piece of plastic. What I did is we're getting another paper towel. Um, 
Do that. Then I'll put my gloves on so that I don't get all that grease in my hands again this time. Okay. Uh, here's where it is. So yeah. I'll just do like that and then I'll try to... I'll sit down in my little chair and look it over. <coughs> That's one thing I have learned. It's not always worth it to spend a day or two making a, making a especially a temporary part, you know. Making a part when you can just buy the part for a reasonable price and just wait a few days to get it. I thought, well, I go look up the part and uh, see how long it take to get here. see this is a holiday weekend this is Friday Saturday Sunday Monday now I used to have Amazon Prime if I could find one on Amazon I don't have it I canceled it because it just wasn't worth it to me anymore I didn't watch the didn't see any movies and videos I was all that interested in and and I didn't order often enough to for it to you know I was I was basically paying for shipping and you don't have to pay for shipping if you do your orders right you know anything over 25 bucks and all that stuff yeah, I, I, I'm going to try to, I think it's gone, but it would make a good template to show you how to cut out a block of wood. Huh, I think maybe before I go into all that, I should go look it up and see. And I think lunch too, yeah. I was really hungry when I started and I ate a little, little one bite. <laughs> piece of candy, piece of chocolate that kind of tidied me over, but now I'm really starting to feel it again, and I'm diabetic, I can't just keep on going, so I'm going to leave that here, uh, eat lunch, and, uh, and while, you know, while I'm doing that, I'll look it up, start to say I can, I can make a desktop video, that's what I usually, mostly do is make desktop videos, and, uh, or I have, see I can stream from, well this camera and uh, the other camera to my computer and then do this and switch back and forth. I can do all that in my room, but I can't do that in here because once you go through the door out into the garage, the Wi-Fi drops. That's how I do it over Wi-Fi. The, the signal drops too much and uh, it uh, drops, it drops frames and it's just, you know, not a usable.